when you stop uh, your nine to five job and you start focusing uh-huh. more on more being real a uh, rel- mm-hmm. relative full mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Tell me some of the, the pros from it. Did it help you focus more? You know, because a lot of people would say, I want to quit my job and do this, but mm-hmm. it's just not supporting their bills or whatever they have to mm-hmm. take care of at that moment. So yeah. it's like, you're kind of scared. But for right. you, when you finally took that step, that leap of, that leap of faith, yeah. like how, how did your life change and how did the career change? So I would say definitely for people who want to jump into real estate, I think a lot of times they say, all right, I want to be my own boss. That's why I want to be in real estate. And yes, you're your own boss. But when you're starting out, you're going to be working more than what you do in your nine to five. So mm. you work in those eight hours when you're in real estate, it's it's a lot of work. So I would definitely say for that transition, it's OK to, you know, have your nine to five and then use that money that you saved up in order to make that transition. Saving is everything. But I would just want you to know, like, it is more work than what you're doing with your nine to five. Mm. So it is it was it was a hustle like from sitting down to a desk for I I did something called door knocking, which is basically knocking on doors saying, hey, I'm a realtor. So I was going around Bowie knocking on these doors, even in the cold and saying like, hey, this is what I do. If you know anyone looking to purchase, then, you know, I would love to assist. So it was a hustle. (laughs) How was that process for you, though? Like soliciting almost like knocking on people's doors. It was soliciting. How was was that process like? (laughs) <laughs> it was crazy. I, I printed out my flyer. So I would have a flyer with my picture, my information, basically what I do. I would literally knock on the door, say, hey, my name's Brianna Thizard. I'm a local realtor. If you know anyone looking to buy some invest, I would love to assist. And some people, yeah, I got cursed out a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> some people were like, who's this girl at my door? Some people were really nice. I actually got one client from, from door, one or two clients from door knocking. But I will say overall, people were kind of weirded out about it. So you wouldn't um, suggest that or... I would suggest it. I think if you do it consistently, you will find the people. How you definitely will. Are you? Oh, I was consistent. I was doing it Monday through Friday. Sheesh. Yeah. And then mind you, I when I started doing it, it was in the winter time. Oh, so no. I, my hands were all ashy. Oh, no. <laughs> but I was like, I gotta get it. Like if, if this is what I, you know, want to do, I really mm. want to do real estate. I was kind of trying everything. Um, so so yeah, I did that door knock. It was not easy. It was not easy. Cause I'm I'm a nice person. Most people that know me, you know, I'm pretty approachable. So I wasn't used to people cursing me out or like looking <laughs> at me funny. So I was like, dang, like, is it me? But I it's mean, definitely a hard job. Yeah. To do Cause a lot of people, it's like you come into their home and it's like, bro. Mm, right. Like, right. And they think you're a politician. Yeah. And it's just it, it gets it gets weird. I but I will say anybody that is doing door knocking that you definitely want to have somebody with you, mm. especially as a woman. You don't want to go by yourself. I typically went by myself, but I also can see how that's very dangerous. So if you're going with somebody, I mean, if you're doing it, go with somebody. So now you're like three years in the game. Like you're like an OG now almost, right? <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do I'm people learning. look at you now? Like. That's, so what are some of the things that you can't really believe that people call you or like come to you about advice and like they look yeah. at you like a, 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 a OG almost, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's definitely weird because when I started, I, when I would post on social media, I feel like nobody was there just mm-hmm. talking to, you know, nobody. But um, till now, I'm having people reach out to me. Hey, I'm looking to purchase a home. I'm looking to sell my home. And it's just like, wow, I really grew from not having anyone to speak to about real estate to people actually reaching out to me and wanting to purchase. Mm. So. So it's been a big shift. Three years in the game. What are some of the things that you learned, like some of the do's and don'ts of just getting into real estate, Mm -hmm. uh, being a realtor, Mm -hmm. some of the things you did and that you thought probably was a fail that you probably shouldn't have done just to help Mm -hmm. young realtors coming in the game? I would definitely say focus on yourself, Mm. have your own lane. I think for me, I'm not that I like popcorn success, but I was just like, okay, I'm going to get in the game. I'm going to make six figures right off the bat. (laughs) Like I had all these goals and that's amazing. And you can do that. But I think I was comparing myself a lot to realtors that have been in the game for 10 years. Mm. I didn't even know how long they were in the game for, but I started out. I'm like, you know, I'm doing the same thing. I'm door knocking. I'm doing this. How come I'm not getting um, the same type of success that they're getting? They've been in this game for a long time. So I'm comparing my first year to their 10 year. Mm. So I would definitely say focus on what you're doing. Focus on your niche, whoever, whether that's first time home buyers, maybe you want to focus on millennials, maybe you want to focus on the elderly, like find your niche of people that you want to focus on, because that's going to definitely, you know, help with your marketing. Who do you market to? How you market? So I would say stay in your lane and then figure out your niche. That's going to be the biggest thing. And also patience, right? Like oh, um, that's that's huge. But Whew. speaking of niches, right? I mm-hmm. feel like trying to find your niche, niche, however you would like to say it, mm-hmm. right? Sometimes that's easier said than done, right? Because what you yes. might want to be your niche may yes. not be your niche, yeah. right? How do you find your niche in in such a competitive field? 
Yeah, I would definitely say that's hard. So for me, I was like, okay, I want to go, um, I want my clientele to be people who already have homes so that I can just sell their homes. So I mm, wanted people who were in like the smart. 35 plus range, but majority of the people were in their early 20s. And I was like, dang, like, you know, it, what should I do in terms of marketing? And I just, those are just the, the people that I attracted. And then when I was working with them, I just love working with them. So right now I would definitely say my niche right now is the younger, um, younger people, I would say people who are just graduating college. I'm getting a lot of people who are graduating college who worked on their credit score while they were in school and also their savings. So by the time they're done, they're like, all right, I'm ready to buy a house. Mm. So I would say people in their mid twenties, early thirties, that's my range right now. But you had to be open to that, right? Because but you, you had know, to, exactly. Finding an issue, you came in like, I want my, I want my audience exactly. to be this. Exactly, exactly. And that's why I was doing the door else. knocking, yep. Right, and right. it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I want it to be this, but it's not that, so let me focus on what it actually is. Right, right, if that makes right. sense. Yeah. 